Hey, what's going on? I'm just going to show you a little something on the capabilities that we have here. So a customer of mine, actually a GM dealer, brought me a PCM that they were trying to put in a truck to program. He even contacted a GM's uh, service, uh, I guess in Detroit or wherever they are, to see if they could work around the program. And they suggested a surrogate vehicle, uh, which means you would take the, this PCM, you would put it in another vehicle that's similar to the one, and this is a 2005 GMC Sierra, uh, put it in that other vehicle and try and program it that way with the correct vehicle's VIN, like the one that this will ultimately wind up in. But I don't actually do the surrogate PCM thing because I'd have to have 500 vehicles and I already have enough in my fleet. So what I do is I bench flash uh, the PCMs. Uh, and this is another PCM I have that is a known good PCM and this is all the interface stuff and I run the software up here on the computer. But you can see that I've got this other PCM hooked up and this one I could communicate to just fine and when I did the same pinouts from to this PCM, you know, these wires here to this PCM, this PCM would not communicate at all. I put the VIN in and it would just give me a critical failure every single time. So it looks like we have a bad PCM on our hands. Uh, they can either supply a new one or we can send this out and try and have it repaired. Uh, unfortunately, I have three of this style PCM and it's a little bit different than this one. The uh, input side is the same, the output side is different, so these PCMs that I have will not work for this customer. So they're back to square one and need to get another PCM. Well, off to the drawing board for them, and I am going to shut this down and go swimming. What do you think of that? Later. Thanks for watching.